Um, I want them to get colder. Now I've gotten used to them and it feels... In the wintertime, it's nice. When we used to pre-record Come Town and we would be, we would go to the Berkshires. I'm all miss those days. Those were nice. Cabin week. Um, yeah, we'd step in the Berkshires and be frigid. And, uh, you know, like an old cabin with like frozen pipes and just uh, just doing blow all night till like 4 a.m., sleeping for two hours and then getting up and hitting an ice cold fucking shower. And yeah. Jumping rope for an hour. You would jump rope for an hour after Coke with your little mouse heart. Yeah. yeah I think that, yeah. I think that's, that's really what did the damage. All these girls were doing coke with, not I wasn't doing it, but they were doing it. And it, women do this thing where they like, they lock you into a conversation. And first they do the like, come in, come into the bathroom, come into the bathroom, come into the bathroom, and you have to go in there. And then they talk to you in a way that you can't stop them. You can't stop what they're saying and you can never get out of the conversation. And it's like a, it's like if a snake was going into your mouth, coming out your ass and going back into your mouth and you can't get the end of it forever and ever. That's mm -hmm. how it feels. Yeah. No, I'm glad I don't. With men, it'd be fun. I'm glad I don't do drugs anymore. I know the feeling of it's the birds. It's depressing. When you finally get sober and you think about all the time that you were having fun. Yeah. And you're like, this just, that's just sad. I'm just like sad. I feel bad for myself and my friends. Totally. Yeah. The 10 a.m., the looking and realizing it's 10 a.m. Yeah. I mean, I only once or twice let it get that bad in the, because I mean, I really didn't do drugs outside of like the second year of COVID. And that's because it was just like, was everywhere here. I don't know. Yeah. Bars were still closed. And it was just, yeah, you go to, so, there'd be 15 people in a studio apartment. And uh, so much, so many drugs on COVID. I had to yeah. drive my friend just near the ambulance just because he was freaking out. And I was like, if COVID wasn't going on, we would just go to a place where loud music would play and you'd feel fine. But us just sitting here looking into our fucked up pupils is like obviously giving you a panic attack. I don't know why Coke was so big. I did it too during COVID. Yeah. That's when I no, quit. It was just everywhere. I don't know who did that. But yeah, no, I had a, a year, 2021, I guess. But yeah, that year it got, uh, we're not, you know, it wasn't like I was smoking crack or anything. But more than, more than twice a week, I think is a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing it. I was getting really into bowling. I was doing Coke and then I'd go bowling for hours. That's weird. Yeah, I know. And I was I would be so good at bowling on Coke and then the second the second I wasn't on Coke, I would suck immediately. Mm -hmm. So I was like it was the most cuz everybody else would be drinking and partying and I was like I don't drink, but I do Coke all night. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing. Today. Yeah, well that was my problem. That's why you know I couldn't drink either. It's like I mean, I also can't it's the same. I just have a problem with consumption. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like I can't. I will do it with literally like any. I'll do it with Baker's chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. It's fucking something that's disgusting, and I'm like, bah, 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 bah. yeah. You know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could just sit there and just keep doing drugs. Uh, I get the dips between the dip bumps. I would be. I would fall into a pit of despair and need to. I'll call people and be like, we need to get as many bags here as possible because the idea of coming down ever is a nightmare. Some yeah. people don't have that. I have that bad. No, I, I would get to the end of the night and be like, okay, I'm done. That's amazing. Yeah. I would be like, I'll have to kill myself if we're yeah. done. No, that's all depressing. But whatever. Life goes on. You know, I got my yoga now and I. And people our age are doing it all the time. We're not pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just depressing because it's like I try to take care of myself. I've tried to take care of myself for a long time. And I've like had periods where like, you know, I'd stop drinking and like you know, get into exercise and clean up my diet and I feel better and like I'm mentally like, you know, doing better because I have some kind of like structure and it's like, wow, I just hold on to this. This feels good. I, I guess the depressing thing is I think about that and knowing these like cycles, it's like, well, what's good? You know what's funny? When I first met Ian, I hadn't drank for 18 months or something like that and we met at Stand Up. What was the one that was in Long Island City that was like the other Creek in the standing room? Oh, yeah, yeah. We met at the standing room, or maybe we met a couple times. It was the first time I like hung with Ian, and um, yeah, I was like, "Yeah, I don't, I, I don't drink. I've been sober for X amount of time." He was like, "He's like, oh yeah, that's really good." He's like, "I'm sober again recently too," and I was like, "Oh, like again? Like you quit?" He's like, "Yeah," and he told me that story of where he fell off the wagon at the airport and was drinking hand sanitizer and then went to a club trying to buy crack, and um, butt crack, not crack. yeah. And I was like, "How long were you sober?" And he was like, um, 
about 18 months. And like, it just shocked me because I had felt like at that time, having 18 months, I was like, oh, I'm free. I'm like, no, I don't have to worry about this anymore. But then I was like shocked last year. I, I didn't drink for nine years. Oh, really? And then I started drinking again. And luckily it like ended before anything really bad happened. It was just, I got drunk three nights in a row and I had like a two day hangover. And uh, so what was the catalyst for drinking again? Uh, yeah, like a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, I remember I was around for it, but it, it is weird how it just works. How it's like you can just slip it back in slowly and people just adjust around you. You know what I mean? What, drinking again? Well, it just feels like if I started drinking again, it feels like every day of my life would be like, my God, Jordan, are you all right? You know what I mean? And they yeah. would take me into a psych ward. But it's not true. Like, my buddies all the time are like, do you want to, oh, sorry, I forgot. And I'm yeah, like, wow, yeah. I could just yeah. drink again. Did you start drinking? Did you quit drinking recently or what? I quit drinking. I haven't drank the whole time when you were out of it and back into it. So it's been like a, maybe almost two years since oh, I got into the cellar. Cause I had quit drinking and then I got into the cellar and I like had a glass of wine to be like, and I didn't like it. So I just yeah. stopped forever. Well, I said I was like sober for nine years, but I was doing drugs that entire time. Yes. Just not frequently. Yeah. Initially not frequently. Cause I was, you know, it's funny, it was Adam. Cause when me and him hung a lot in DC, but then we came up here um, I would hang out with him a lot more because he was like, you know, one of my only friends. And um, uh, yeah, I was never like a Coke guy prior to that. I didn't know any Coke guys. And then Adam was always like, where's the bag? Do we have a little scan? I always should call a guy. Should he call would be guy? wet man, wet yeah. man with dry bag. Yeah, man. Like, Let's get you. Should we call a guy? You know? Yeah. And, uh, and then, yeah. And then it would be like, I, I remember thinking like, if you did Coke more than, I might think of it, if you did it, more than once in a three month period, you had a problem. Yeah. That was like my thinking. On yeah. It. And yeah. then it becomes more than three times a week and you have a problem. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 I know. I remember telling my mom, I that remember slipping time. it out and being like, I have a Coke problem. Yeah. And she was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. It was like a six year thing. You know, you like it. it it's crazy. It, yeah. Cause it was like the only thing that I would do. I mean, six years in terms of like how long it took to build up until it was more than just, you know, once or twice a year. Also, it's like an oval teen for relationships like if you're dating somebody and you both are doing coke together you just like love bond over being so fucked up and then anytime you're not on coke you're like i think i hate this person so you just do coke again yeah that's dangerous i i've never been in one of those situations where things have been like just drug based yes i've done it once yeah, and it stayed in it for a while makes me and sad. then when i quit he was like you never we never do anything together like bowl and i'm like yeah i think i hate bowling yeah i think i was just on drugs and didn't want to talk to anybody yeah 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 it's in like damn I wish we hadn't uh, switched to this topic, but whatever. I got a I got a new lease on life now. I've been actually sober for four months. That's great. Yeah, and the, that is the, great. The show the show's a lot of fun. I'm you look better and healthy and are way more present. No, thanks. Yeah, huge difference. Yeah, the 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 the, the shows we're having a lot of fun with it. We had me and Ginzi had fun this weekend shooting stuff. That's uh, that's all wrapped up. Ginsburg will, I think we'll have the next episode of the Adam Friedland talk, the Adam Friedland show, the actual product out. I don't want to be over promise, but Ginsburg, what do you think we'll have like a rough assembly done by? Probably the end of the week, huh? And then just, it's just uh, cleaning up that, um, that opening. Yeah. All right. So uh, realistically the middle of next week. Mm -hmm.